Welcome back, YouTube, to new Super Luigi U. This is Ken Gagney with YouTube channel Game Bits with a Let's Play of the DLC that came out for the new Super Mario Bros. U game. It is $20 for 82 new levels. I finished the first three. If you haven't seen those yet, go back in my playlist on my channel and check it out. And then follow along as we continue with this exploration. Now, each level is only 100 seconds long. So these videos, with any luck, will be quick if I do them well. Which I don't have a great track record for, to be honest. But I always make an effort. Now, Luigi definitely seems to be able to jump higher than Mario. And that might be a holdover from Super Mario Bros. 2, Vape and Nintendo. Whoops. Jeez. It's a very floaty jump. Almost like Yoshi. See, he can get all those coins without any help. Which is pretty remarkable. No big coins there. But lots of coins in general. And that actually seems like a difficult platform to jump onto. Oh, but there it is. Alright. Two out of three, and only th a few seconds left to go. I was hoping that POW block would unveil a big coin. Huh. So I definitely found the third coin, I just didn't get it. It was quite high up there, and I didn't have a Yoshi to jump off. I wonder if there's another trick. Didn't take any damage, though, so yay for me. Alright, let's go grab my pink Yoshi. <coughs> Definitely not a metaphor. Hey, baby Yoshi. He's gonna follow me, because I know where to find food. Yeah, because Luigi being tall and thin looks like he knows where the food is found. Okay, just trying to remember what each baby Yoshi does. That one's a floater. That's it, one coin. Wah! Alright, got one, got the first big coin. There's the second. Oh yeah, I forgot that he can do that. You go, man. Eat like it's going out of style. Hee hee hee, that's awesome. Huh, that's the first pipe I found to go in in New Super Luigi U. The level's being so short that it doesn't seem to be a lot of time for exploration. I should have gotten a screen cap of that room. That was amazing. Well, fortunately I got a video, which is almost the same thing. I'm glad I'm getting some one-ups, because this game is hard enough to need them. Unlike, in my opinion, New Super Mario Bros. U, the challenge in that game was exploration, not survival. Can't say the same for this game. Now, I probably still have my baby Yoshi with me. Do I really need him for other levels? Probably not. But, taking him with me anyway. Piranha Gardens. Just gonna leave him behind, because really, his job here is done. Whoops. Well, that was foolish of you to come down to my level. Oh, look at that micropipe over there. Oh, darn. I wonder if I'd gotten all the red coins if I would have gotten a micro mushroom in return. Because that's coin number two. No big surprise there. Is it me or is there something in that bush? Yep, there we go. I could see just a hint of a ledge. Oops. 
Huh. Okay. <coughs> now the timer was 44. So the two digits were the same number. So I got four fireworks and an item. I played almost all of New Super Mario Bros. U without figuring out that pattern. Fortunately, one of my YouTube commenters pointed it out to me. Alright, got me a fire flower. Got rid of my pink Yoshi. Now again, this is not a perfect playthrough, but I want to test that theory about the micro mushroom, mini mushroom, call it what you will. So I'm going to go back into this level and give it another try. Just had to get rid of that guy. Let's try this again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No? Alright. Well, that being the case, where is the first coin in this level? Star coin, I mean. Do I have to get a micro mushroom in another level? And then use it in this level? Oh! Okay. Ha! Huh. That little pipe must be just a red herring. Very intriguing. Oh, hey, that's a, that's that's me. That's that's topiary of me. I'm Luigi. With a little flower in my hair. So cute. Whoops. Yeah, hey, another one up. And just two seconds slower than last time. Otherwise, I would have gotten another item. And speaking of one-ups, let's go get some of those. Coins. Dang. Ah, dang, nab it. I think I might have gotten one extra life out of that, or zero. One, one is better than none. One or none, right? Lemmy's Lights Out Castle. Nice. Now this level, that would be very easy to hide a lot of star coins in. I mean, not more than the usual, three, but just for them, all of them to be hidden. Got them all! Just like Pokemon. Now, why do I want to be able to fly on this level? To get just to get that thing, that star coin. The things I do for star coins. All right, haven't missed any yet. That's two out of three, in order. P. Oh, missed one. Huh, there's me again. And I'm missing a star coin. Is there a purpose to getting all the blue coins? Would I have gotten a star coin if I in exchange for star coins or blue coins or whatever? I like how they give you an extra 100 seconds to fight the boss, whether it's just a uh, boom boom or a koopaling. Oh, and there's a reminder that I now have less than 100 seconds or fewer. Woohoo! It's -a me, Luigi! 
You? <laughs> oh. Ah! I think I did that to myself. Maybe I shouldn't throw fire at the bomb? Just a thought. Would the bomb have been dangerous without the flame? Super jump. Luigi jump. Floater jump. Oh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow, I think that bomb bounced right off me. I was sure I was going to die. That's another interesting point. There are no checkpoints in this game. Because the levels are so short. Hmm. Adios. Sayonara. Vamos. Hey, hey. Okay. Now, since these levels are very short, that means this video is very short. I just finished the second half of this world in 11 minutes and 43 seconds or so. So I'm actually going to take this moment to go back. If you are looking for new levels, you can stop here and continue my playlist to the first half of the second world. But for now, I'm actually curious to know if where all the star coins are that I missed in this world. I only got the second one. I missed the first and the third, and I didn't even see them. So I want to know where in the Crooked Cavern are there more star coins. Now I can't say I'm in any less of a rush because it's still only a hundred seconds. Wow, okay, that's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Still though, I, I mean, I can only go so far because I need all of my power-ups and I need to really look into all the nooks and crannies where a star coin might be hidden. And watch how the level changes shape continuously, which can either hide or reveal a star coin. Now see, this is the second star coin. Which means I'm already missing one. It's not up any of the pipes. You can't go up any of these pipes. What a silly place to put an invincibility star. There's not even that much that can kill you around here. Huh. Okay, if I can't find the first star coin, maybe I can find the third one. Are there any pipes I can go down in this world? I don't remember Mario ever being able to go down a red pipe. Wow! You think they would have given you like a 10 second warning or something? Okay, one more last look into this world, and then I'm going to call it a night on this video. It'd be interesting if the star coin I'm missing is, like, right out here somewhere. I can't go down the red pipes, can I? I mean, yep, there it is. It's very unusual for such an important item to be hidden right at the beginning of the game like that. So let me go ahead and get the fire flower, and then the invincibility star. Zoom right through all this stuff. Ha! Oh, and I see, I could kill more enemies and get more of an up so I was more careful. What if I. What's over there? Wow! Okay, I said that was gonna be my last try, but I lied because I think I figured out the secret. I think I need to continue my invincibility. That's the reason that they would give you invincibility on such an otherwise easy level. Does it make you jump farther? I don't remember. But now that I know where the third star coin is, I gotta give it a go. 
I will get the fire flower first, just in case. If nothing else, it'll help me get to the... It's something I can take with me to the next... Uh, world. Whoop. Shucks. Okay. I had to hit that question mark block while invincible in order to get another star to be produced. And by the way, Mario, Steven says your game was easier. It'd be interesting if there was a power-up you could get that would like give you more time. Like a clock block. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize until I said it how silly that would sound. This is a family-friendly channel here on YouTube. Because as some of the trolls on my videos like to remind me, most of my audience is 12-year-olds, apparently. I vehemently disagree. But you know trolls. They don't listen to reason. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, not again. You know, there is another question mark block that I'm not hitting at all in between that first and s one and the one I'm missing. I wonder if that'll give me a star. Huh. Whoop, sorry, I was, uh... My television is near a window, and I saw something buddy walking around outside the window. It's the neighbor. He's cool. But I got a little distracted, wasn't looking at the screen. That won't happen again. Now I'm all Mario. I mean, I'm sorry, all Luigi all the time. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Can you imagine hiding a star coin so thoroughly, so early in the game? Yep, that's what I was looking for. Ah, crap. Ah! Getting that second star coin actually delayed me. Not the star coin, the star. But I think that's probably because I got it too early, not because of where it is. That's okay. Maybe if I'm small and invincible, it'll actually make it easier. Whoa! Uh -huh. Well, I certainly did get there in time. No, I don't want to post Amiibos, actually. Because it doesn't show on the TV screen what I'm writing on the Miiverse, so the YouTube can't see it. Oh, go get this. Kind of ironic that I need to keep getting the first star coin. Wow. Huh. That was so bad. Alright, let's see if my theory is correct. Ah! What the heck? <coughs> Alright, one last try. Last coin, last star, last star coin. Bye -bye. Maybe I need to jump off the... tilting platform. Because apparently jumping off the bridge under the pipe gives me too much altitude. I actually hit the roof of the cavern before I could make it to where the star coin was. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's much easier. No? Okay, you know what? I showed you where the star is. I think that's pretty good for a Let's Play that doesn't claim to be a 100% complete playthrough. So you now know where all the... Whoops. <laughs> where all the star coins are in that level. I'm going to get through Petey Piranha here. gonna be a star. Another one, like I haven't seen enough of those in the last five minutes. Oh, Peacorn. Not to be confused with the propeller beanie hat from the previous New Super Mario Brothers. Alrighty. Well, that is the first world. I hope you got your money's worth. I'm gonna do a quick save there. And my next video will be entering the desert world, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel GameBits to watch that part of the game. And thanks for subscribing. Really do appreciate it.